Hey, how's it going, guys? Here I am, back from the grave. Uh, give you a little nice little week cap going into the playoffs. Um, before I touch on playoffs, let me uh, touch base on the last week's matchups. A lot of them uh, kind of had some importance to them. Um, so to start off, we'll go with the non-important matchups. Uh, first off, we'll go with, um, we'll go with me versus Johnny. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty over and done with matchup, honestly. I mean, just not been the best season for Johnny. Um, I mean, he had a good Thursday night with LaShawn McCoy getting him 16, um, I'm sorry, not LaShawn, uh, Matthew Stafford getting him 16 Thursday night. Uh, he got 15, uh, Sunday night with, uh, D'Angelo Williams. LaShawn got him 12. John Brown, surprisingly, uh, had a great game. I know he's been off and on the last couple weeks. Uh, but not too much from Hilton, Fleener, Blue. I mean, just not been Johnny's season. Um... Only getting himself 69 points, as opposed to me... Um, 33 out of Blake Bortles, 21 out of OBJ, 23 out of Javorius Allen. Um, not too much out of uh, Anderson or Langford, only getting five apiece. Cobb getting eight, a big goose egg from Jordan Cameron. But overall, I got to uh, end my disappointing season with a win uh, against a normally great opponent. Um, me and Johnny have had a little bit of a rivalry this year. In other leagues, so it's nice to uh, end this one at least with a win against him. But uh, best of luck to both of all, both of us next year. Um, who we got next? We have looking for another. No, no, that was pretty much the only one that really didn't have much. Uh, no, uh, the only other one that ended up not having much playoff implication implication at all was uh, KJ versus Amos. Um, KJ had a great, strong week, getting 99 points. Uh, 23 against Dalton, 15 against Stewart, 12 against Evans, 13 with Amendola. Um, strong 99, definitely uh, definitely a good, uh, good way to end the season. But unfortunately, Amos just got five points more, putting him to rest, um, getting 33 from Wilson. 15 from Ingram, uh, which I guess it sucks that uh, you didn't make playoffs, but you definitely would have been hurting with Ingram going on IR today. Uh, Forte, Forte had 17, 15 out of Delaney Walker, ended up with 104. Um, strong showing, great matchup to end the season. Amos pulling out the victory. Uh, essentially pulling it out on, uh, trying to see what won it for him. I mean, all these are pretty early games, but no, uh, great job getting to win on that one, ending it on a high note. Uh, just like me and Johnny, best of luck to both of y'all next year. Um, you know, we're all normally pretty strong competitors. It's definitely a disappointing season for all four of us, but, uh, you know, just a lot of lessons to learn from there. Um... All right, so now with the playoff ramification, uh, ramifications. So we had Mondo versus Marcellus. Now in this one, uh, Mondo is trying to hold on to his uh, first round bye. Um, got a great. It was a great matchup overall, but got a great week out of 36 with Ken Noon. That dude just went off. 20 from Brandon Marshall, who is just Fitzpatrick's favorite guy. That's crazy. Uh, 19 from Macklin, which is a really good week. Um, 11 from Marvin Jones. Unfortunate goose egg, surprisingly, out of the Patriots' defense. Um, you got six out of Ebron uh, with his touchdown score Thursday night, so he definitely helped you. Uh, filling in for Gronk that week. Um, and not really too much on the bench. I'm surprised you play Ajaje. I know Frank Gore and Indy's entire team has been off and on, so I could see why he did it. Um, 
Sound, Miami sucks, unfortunately. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes with you in the playoffs. Marcellus, on the other hand, um, getting to win with 111 points. Getting, you know, I'll beat him by seven. But basically, winning it on the backs of uh, his Steeler stat combination of Big Ben and Antonio Brown combining for 64 points. Uh, Todd Gurley has been slipping a little bit, only getting four. Devontae Freeman have a crazy average week with, uh, with only getting nine points. Got the Goose A, got Stevie Johnson, but San Diego played like shit all day. Uh, one point out of the Panthers from that shootout and uh, five from Gano. Um, all touchdown scored, nothing less. Um, two quarterbacks on the bench that killed it. Not too much else out of Marcellus's uh, bench that really could have made too much of a difference. But Marcellus get the, got the win going into uh, the playoffs. Uh, trying to get into it on a hot streak. Um, next up, we had D versus LJ. Now, this one, two rivaled friends going up against it. D's trying to solidify uh, a playoff spot. Um, LJ surprisingly having a subpar week. I mean, normally his team has just been killing it, but this week, uh, not too great. Phillip Rivers is a just tough. San Diego struggled all day. He only got six. DeMarco Murray, oh man, another one just struggling with two. Three out of Gordon, five out of Gary Barnage. Dez just not getting any help with, uh, with, uh, what's his name throwing to him. Can't even remember his name. That's uh, Matt Castle. Uh, 12 out of Demarius. 19 out of AJ Green, who had a stellar week. Uh, but DJ, or not, uh, D just freaking came out and definitely tried to make a statement. Getting 24 from Alex Smith, 14 from DeAndre Hopkins, 10 from Crabtree. Uh, going with the sneaky play of playing Scott Chandler and having it pay off by getting 12. Um,. 17 from Brandon Cook. Surprisingly, Alex Smith outscored Drew Brees, which I'm really surprised to see with that shootout they had. Um, D definitely pulled out the win, getting 86, beating LJ, but uh, LJ not too worried about it, even though you wanted to beat D. Um, ceiling, still getting first round by is uh, definitely... Uh, more important, so congrats on that. Next up, we got Corey versus Kevin in uh, what has been a fantasy champion deciding matchup the last three years. Uh, both teams going into the playoffs, so we'll see if they meet up again in the uh, championship. Um, Corey getting 13 out of Derek Carr, 15 out of Jeremiah Hill. Glad to see Jeremy Hill is actually doing work again. I know you are too. 13 out Doug Martin, which, Corey, I got to applaud you, man. You and Johnny were the only ones I knew about that were high on Doug Martin, and it's definitely paying off. So props to that. Uh, Decker getting 11. Uh, only one point out of James Jones and Vance McDonald. Um, I'm seeing now apparently Martellus Bennett is on IR, so that looks like Vance McDonald your tight end going forward. Nope, uh, Jenkins is on your bench, but... Good luck on that one. Uh, 12 out of Devontae Parker, 17 out of the Bengals defense. Had a good, good week. Um, getting 86. Just unfortunately, Kevin's team is going off, and a lot of it had to do with Allen Robinson being the fantasy player of the week, getting uh, 34 points Sunday. Combine that with 24 from the Broncos defense, 23 from Palmer, and 18 from Yeldon. I mean, there's only so much you can do from there. Um, those were his high scores of 14 out of Sean Drawn. Um, aside of that, he had four four-point games from uh, Ivory, Kelsey, Aiken, and McManus. Uh, but yeah, 129, if I'm not mistaken. Highest score of the week, yes you are. Uh, congrats on that. Congrats to both of y'all on making the playoffs. Uh, best of luck to both of y'all going in. 
but our matchup of the week was Josh versus Zhang, Matt, Matthew Zhang. Now, uh, this one was a good one because, uh, I mean, hell, it, it was good. Um, Josh really needed to swim to try to make the playoffs. Um, and he was already uh, starting out from behind with Calvin Johnson getting 10 points uh, on Thursday night. Josh uh, didn't get, only got one point out of Adrian Peterson. It was very disappointing. Eight from Alshon, which is okay. Um, not really much help all around. Uh, only getting three from Reed, three from West, um, seven from the Redskins defense. I know you're expecting more turnovers in that one. And Zhang just went off getting 17 from Thomas Rawl, 17 from David Johnson. Uh, milking them waiver wire picks, uh, 12 from the Seahawks defense, 9 from Julio, um, getting 93 points, and yeah, Josh, you got close with uh, 31 from Tom Brady, which is a hell of a great score, uh, but things weren't looking good going into Sunday night, but Martavius fucking Bryant brought you back in and just went the fuck off. Um, four catches for 114 yards and a touchdown. Uh, didn't watch all the game. I heard he almost had two, but brought you to where you needed to be, getting you the two extra points you needed to get the victory, um, and sealing a playoff spot for you. Congratulations on that. That's freaking, uh, that's freaking awesome. Um, so going into it, we have, sorry, loading right now, LJ and, sorry about that, LJ and Mondo, both of y'all have, uh, bye weeks this week, congratulations on that, um, rounding out the playoff bracket, we have, uh, Marcellus, um, who is this, Marcellus, Josh, uh, Kevin and Corey, um, definitely glad to see that the two rookies made it in. Congratulations to both of y'all once again. Um, oh, this is going to be a good matchup. Kevin and Josh going up against each other starting tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't wait to see all the shit talking in that one. Um, if only the Cowboys and Eagles played this week too, that would just be a wet dream right there. But uh, so good luck to both of y'all, both of y'all seven and six. Um, just want to see something real quick. Both of y'all at seven and six. Um, both of y'all pretty much scored the same amount this year. Uh, Kevin, you've scored 47 more points than Josh. So it's definitely going to be a real good competitive matchup. Then we got Corey and Marcellus going against each other. A um, little bit of a differential in points right there. Marcellus has scored 175 more points than you. Um, so not much to go off of there, but, you know, it does kind of pose a little bit of a favorite towards Marcellus, I like to think. Um, but we shall see. Best of luck with both of y'all. Um, the winner of the Corey Marcellus, actually, I can't even see, sorry about that, um, but no, best of luck to both of y'all, it was a great regular season, um, wish I could have done better, I know a lot of other people wish they could have done better, but, uh, it's glad to see some fresh faces inside the playoff bracket, uh, congratulations to Mondo, I'm not sure if it's your first first round by, LJ, I think it is your first, uh, first round by. Congratulations on that. Uh, best of luck to the four people competing this weekend. And I will talk to you all soon.